an earlier video that we posted on, on our website talked about how you create a basic text slide in PowerPoint. And one of the things you might want to do with that basic text slide is to change the look of the bullets on that text slide. This video demonstrates to you this process you go through to change bullet points on a PowerPoint slide. Enjoy the video. I have a slide in front of me from Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, and I want to use this to demonstrate how you go about changing the shape of a bullet. What I want to do is just change the shape of the bullet on the second point, not on the other parts of this slide. So to do this, all I first of all do is I click on the line that I want to make to change to. I don't need to select anything. All I do is I click on the line I want to change. Then I take my mouse up to the ribbon, and on the ribbon in the paragraph group, I'll go to the bullets button. I'll click on the down arrow. And in the drop-down list, I have different choices I could choose from. If I want to choose one of these basic choices, for example, I want to change it to a check mark shape. All I do is I click on the check mark shape, and it changes the shape of the bullet to that, to that shape. Now there's more choices I could choose, so I want to change the look of this one here. So I'll click on the, this line. I go back up again to the bullets button, click on the down arrow. I could choose one of these choices here, but if I want more choices, I'll go to the lower part of the drop-down panel and click on bullets and numbering. It takes me into another window that shows me the same choices. I want to choose something different, so I go to the Customize button in the bottom right-hand corner. It takes me into a Symbol window, and in this window, I'm going to change the font to be one of my preferred ones. I prefer to work with Webdings. Another good one to work with are, are the Wingding choices, so I'm going to click on, when I get to it, Webdings. And maybe I want to put on a picture of a golfer as a bullet shape, so I click on that choice. I click OK. It shows me a preview here. I click OK. It takes me back to my presentation, and that one line now has been changed to a different shape, in this case, a golfer. So that's the process you go about when you want to, when you get, want to make a change to a single line in your PowerPoint slide. I'm going to go to a different slide now. What I want to do in this case is I want to change the shape of all the bullets in this slide. So this time I'm going to select all of them by using my mouse, just dragging down, holding my left mouse button down. Then I'm going to go back up to the arrow part of the bullet button and click. There's my choices again. I could choose one of these, these if I chose to. Instead, I'll go to bullets and numbering. And back to the same window I was in on the earlier example. The difference is this time I'm changing the shape of all the bullets in the slide. I'll go to Customize in the bottom right-hand corner. I'll change to Wingdings, or sorry, Webdings again. And this time I'm going to put maybe a, a question mark on as my bullet. I'll click on that. I'll click OK. It shows me a preview. Now if I chose to, I could change the size of the bullet by changing this over here. I'm going to leave it at 100%. I could also change the color of it by choosing the color button. In this case, I will change it to red. And I'll click OK. And I've now made a change to the look of the bullet on the entire slide. So now you know the steps for making your slide unique to your own presentation. That's where you can change the bullets in your, in your slide. It's an easy process to go through. We have other videos on our website that give you other tips as far as making things easier in your job and in your career. Our website is www.joecomputertips.com. And on that website, we give you lots of different ideas for becoming more effective in the different Microsoft applications. My name again is Joe Peterson, and thanks for watching today's video.